Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at the SmallBat X1. These are IEMs or in-ear monitors that has a traditional 3.5mm plug that is a contrast to all of the true wireless Bluetooth headphones we've been seeing lately. It's a much more analog process, but it's also geared more towards audio enthusiasts and audiophiles, those that prefer something that has a wire but gives you higher fidelity, resolution, and more detail in the songs that you're listening to. But of course, you probably don't want to use it for as much vigorous movement, but really if you're sitting down and not caring as much about the mobility part. Now, what makes the X1s unique, however, is they have a design that has a switch built in that you can actually adjust just by turning with your hands, and that changes the sound signature to one that's bass heavy. You can also flick it upwards into one that will emphasize the trebles. Manual tuning controller on the side. That's quite interesting. Otherwise, they're dual drivers as well. So there is a 6mm titanium diaphragm and also a 10mm composite diaphragm for the bass. So there's two separate elements uh, that emphasizes different ends of the sound. And otherwise, the cables here are also detachable, so in case it breaks, you can also replace them. The entire package here is also relatively affordable. The X1 sells for around 50 bucks. Inside of this, we do have a nice presentation with a thank you card. And underneath of this is where we have the X1 kind of right on top. So it's definitely presented very well and the X1s are also constructed out of aluminum alloy for the shell and they're not too heavy or bulky either. Otherwise we do have silicon tips of course that you can pop in or change to other textures like a memory foam although a memory foam one isn't included by default in the packaging. There are some other sizes for the tips to get a more snug fit and finally the cable which again is detachable from the ends. It's using a two-prong style although it doesn't have a built-in microphone. So again this is really meant for listening to music. If you want to make a phone call you still have to try a different cable or pick up a different headset. One last thing I will mention though is the packaging does also include a separate little box that includes a Type-C controller uh, as part of the kit. So this can transform the 3.5 millimeter jack that you plug it into for a Type-C connector. So a lot of modern day smartphones for instance no longer have a regular headphone jack so they will give you this converter in the box. So a closer look at the X1s, the design definitely is quite beautiful and elegant. It seems like something more expensive than the price would suggest. Again, the entire thing is made of a solid aluminum chunk with some chrome accents on the top, which is very reflective and shiny. The only thing I will say, though, is the switch for the side here does seem a little bit recessed, maybe just to prevent any accidental triggers, but you really have to use either a pin or kind of your fingernails to get in there and change that if you want to customize uh, the tuning there. So I do wish they would include some type of tool or maybe make it a button that protrudes a little bit more in a next generation product. And here's a look of what they are like with the silicon tips attached. It looks like this. Again, it is a very kind of premium, beautiful design. As for the wearing experience, there's a portion of the cable here actually that hooks over the side of your ears, so it does give it a pretty snug fit. When it comes to the audio quality, I have to say I am quite impressed. When you're in the more dynamic bass heavy mode, the bass really does have impact for a pair of small in-ear monitors. It actually packs quite a punch in that lower frequency. Anything from guitars to a drum beat just is super satisfying as a string is plucked. You can feel it kind of rumble. If we're being super nitpicky in the more bass heavier modes, I do have to say the bass is emphasized more than the vocals. I still found it to be a very enjoyable experience. Even watching movies and soundtracks really just brings things to life and uh, kind of sucks you into whatever you're watching or listening to, which is awesome. Nor will there be any lag or connectivity issues in terms of the left and right sides. You don't have to worry about any of that. So of course, if you're also playing back a game on these, the process will be very seamless. Now in the second mode, which is the one that slightly emphasizes the um, trebles a bit more, the vocals, so it almost is like shutting off the bass, the second driver, and just bumping up the treble. And as a result, you're able to listen to a lot more details if you're hearing an acoustic track, something that has a singer's voice, maybe a female, or a violin, something that has a higher frequency, and it does become much more crystal clear and has a more neutral sound, I would say, as a result. Bass will be greatly reduced, of course, but again, depending on the genre, if you want that added clarity in the vocals, that is something to try and experiment with. 
If I could use one word to describe the experience, I have to say it would be fun, just because the ability for it to switch back and forth is unusual. Of course, there's nothing stopping you from using another software-based equalizer if you want to use an app on your phone, for example, to further tweak the custom sound profile, and that would work exactly the same way as any other pair of headphones, but the one that's built directly into the sides just makes it a very quick switch that you can just press, and then it gives you two very different effects. Final observations, the noise isolation with the silicon tips are just average, so sometimes noise can still leak in a little bit, and vice versa, noise can sometimes also creep out uh, if you're listening to music at a really high volume, so that is something to keep in mind. But you can always switch them to, say, memory foam, it's just memory foam tips aren't included directly in the box. If you're doing something with a lot of bouncing up and down, like if you're trying to sprint, that's not going to be the best fit simply because the wire can sometimes get tangled or it might kind of move across your shirt and the movement of the wire can create a little bit of noise. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the SMA BAT X1, a pretty unique pair of IEMs or in-ear monitors. Again, wired headphones are just getting increasingly rare, a dying breed, sadly, these days. So it's really cool to still see some innovation on a pair like this. So you can check out more details if you're interested. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. It's been the unique SMA BAT X1 in-ear monitors.